Hi, and my name is Rosie. I teach A-level chemistry here at East Sussex College. In A-level chemistry, we have um, a wide variety of different topics. We cover all the way from physical chemistry, the fundamentals of the universe, all the way through to organic chemistry and drug design and analytical techniques. Uh, analytical techniques is one of my favourites, to be honest, because it's what I did my dissertation on at the university. Um, I studied my MChem at Sussex University, so I'm a pretty local person. I, um, I enjoyed that so much that, it, as I said, it's become one of my favourite topics here. We have all sorts of fun, uh, the students get fed up with me waffling about my paper, um, just because I'm so excited about it. Uh, the, the Perhaps the most difficult part is the maths. Everyone always expects it to be kind of easy, but there is a very strong component of maths in A-level chemistry. So an A-level to go alongside it is A-level maths. Uh, biology goes quite well as well as does psychology to kind of get a wide variety of the sciences. I have had students with other combinations do it before, um, so we've had some interesting ones like textiles alongside because of the chemicals involved. They had a really good project where they were using a wide variety of different chemicals and they were chatting to me about how um, the different chemicals would react with the different materials, which is kind of interesting. And uh, it's one of the great things I love about this is there's so many different courses that the combinations are really interesting and I get a wide variety of students that have a load of different interests in different areas. My, um, in terms of the course itself, we expect students to do the same amount of time studying alone as they do with us, so that's about four and a half hours a week minimum. For students who are aiming to do medicine and things like that, we um, hopefully encourage them to do a little bit more than that. Uh, we have workshops every week, so students come along and ask for guidance and help and extracurricular activities as well. Um, we do fundraising every year, we try and do extra trips, we have got a local abundance of um, industry links and um, so there's some local hospitals. And, um, we also have great countryside and things which is great for if you're interested in chemistry and biology together because you can study the environment as well. The entry criteria for my course is um, quite strong on the sciences, you need a good science grade to get in, so you need double sixes in science or a six in chemistry and six in either physics or biology. Um, again, maths, uh, you need a good five in maths, I'd recommend a six. So uh, the kind of equipment you need to participate in my class is uh, lab coats and goggles, so uh, you need to stay safe while we're doing all of those wonderful practicals that we do. Uh, you also need a textbook, uh, you don't have to bring it to class but it's often pretty handy because I'll say something and then you might need to double check something. And the main thing you need is a sense of determination. Chemistry is one of the hardest eight levels that there is. It's quite competitive as well um, as it's the main subject needed to get into high tier university courses such as medicine and pharmacy and veterinary science which is where a lot of our students go when they come here so you need to have a really good sense of what you want in order to achieve really well in chemistry. That being said, we've got lots of help, um, so as long as you know what you want, we can help you get. Another thing I love about the campus is how close it is to all the um, links. So there's great bus links, great train links. Um, it's just down the A27 if you happen to drive. Um, so it's really easy to get to, it's right in the centre of Lewis, so there's really, really great connections to the local shops and some great scenery. So when you're on a break and you don't fancy studying, you can go for a little walk, especially when the weather's really nice. Um, it can lift your mood and help you come back for afternoon lessons feeling a little bit better. So in chemistry, we assess with a wide variety of different um, styles. So we've got the regular exam question tests um, where we will do a full-on paper linked to the exam board. Uh, we also do smaller tests based on topics. I also do lots of things with Google Forms and technology. Um, I'm partial to the odd Kahoot quiz, they're pretty fun. Um, and we do a lot of like little assessments in class involving whiteboards and um, general chit chat and feedback. We have debates as well because um, we like to make sure that you're assessing like, a whole range of skills rather than just whether you can answer an exam question. Um, work experience, there you do at the end of year one. Um, 
students in the past have gone on to shadow GPs, they've gone on to um, work in local pharmacies, some of them have even gone on to um, work with local engineers and all sorts of interesting things related to the subject that they're interested in. Um, so the vast majority uh, that come here are mostly interested in medicine and biochem based stuff, so they tend to shadow local GPs, doctors, hospitals, that kind of thing. Um, otherwise, trips are another thing that we would love to do more of. We try and get at least one in every year. Um, we're in such a local uh, beauty spot that there's loads of things we can do to do with biochem and chemistry. Uh, so the Cookmere, it's a local river not too far down the coast. Uh, we can do great studies there. We can do things like titrate the salt water and the salt content of the sea uh, compared to the river water because it's quite brackish. Um, we can also look at the life forms as well that exist. So biologists who take biology and chemistry can look at um, a wide variety of different things on one trip. So that's generally the plan is to bring all the sciences together because they aren't in isolation. Mm -hmm.